The State Tretyakov Gallery in Moscow is one of the leading scientific, artistic, cultural, and educational centers in Russia, the world's largest museum of Russian art. The gallery was founded in 1856 by Pavel Tretyakov as a private collection. It contains artworks by masters of 10 to 20 centuries. The collection includes all trends of Russian painting, from icons to avant-garde. In 1856, a merchant Pavel Tretyakov bought the first two paintings of Russian artists and Shilder and Vikoryakov. In 1850s, he adds to his collection the works by I. Sokolov, V. Jacobi, A. Savrasov and M. Klot. At that time, Pavel Tretyakov had a dream to create a museum, which will feature the works of Russian artists. The collector acquired all the best pieces of Russian artists that were at the art market. By nature, Pavel Tretyakov was not just a collector. He had extensive knowledge of literature, art, theater, and music. He created the first museum in Russia, reflecting the development of Russian art, and wanted it to become a public museum. In 1867, the gallery was opened, representing a collection of Pavel and his brother Sergei. Pavel placed the paintings in his house on Mavrushinsky Lane. From 1872 to 1874, there were built two museum rooms, which were connected with the dwellings. In 1882, when it was necessary to place a collection of Turkestan, there were added six brand new spaces. Additional rooms also appeared in 1885 and 1892. 1892 was a significant year for the museum. That year, Pavel Tretyakov presented the gallery to the city of Moscow. Then the collection included 1,287 paintings, 518 drawings, and 9 sculptures by Russian artists of the 18th-19th centuries, as well as works by Western European masters. A year later, there was the official opening of the Moscow City Gallery of Pavel and Sergei Tretyakov. After the death of Pavel Tretyakov in 1898, his business was continued by other patrons. Nowadays, the superb collection of the State Tretyakov Gallery contains more than 170 000 items, including numerous icons, paintings, sculptures, and graphics. The collection includes famous Russian artists such as Andrei Rublev, Alexei Sarasov, Vasily Surikov, Ilya Rapin, Ivan Shishkin, Valentin Serov, Viktor Vasnetsov, Mikhail Rubel, Kazimir Milyevich, and others. The unique collections of the museum are the collection of Russian art of the 9th-10th centuries and the collection of Soviet art of 1930-1980. On May 22 the State Tretyakov Gallery in Moscow, one of the most important museums in Russia, celebrates its 160th birthday. These are the interesting facts from the history of the country's principal repository of Russian art. The gallery's chronology began with Russian merchant and collector Pavel Tretyakov's purchase of Vasily Kuyakov's painting skirmish with Finnish smugglers. He bought it for 450 rubles, almost $7,700 in today's worth, in 1856 at the artist's workshop in St. Petersburg. It was the smugglers that initiated the collection, which later would become the largest assembly of Russian art in the world. Today the painting is located in the gallery's room 16. In the beginning, Tretyakov's younger brother Sergei also collected canvases painted by Russian artists. The first Russian painting in his collection was Alexei Bogolivov's Sapotievsky Monastery near Kostroma. It was bought on recommendation from Pavel Mikhailovich. Later, if his older brother was for some reason unable to buy a painting, it was purchased by Sergei. The Tretyakov Gallery was a collection not only of Russian but also of foreign paintings. With time the younger Tretyakov began collecting Western European paintings, primarily the French Romantics and Realists. He bequeathed his collection to his brother. The paintings were brought to the mansion on Lavrushinsky Lane and in 1892 Pavel gifted the United Collection to the city along with the house. In 1925, during the Soviet regime, the foreign paintings in the Tretyakov Gallery were divided among the State Pushkin Museum and the State Hermitage Museum. That is how, for example, the Pushkin Museum obtained Jules Bastien Lepage's masterpiece Love in the Village.